Here's the Fitbit Versa 4. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. So the first thing, go ahead and turn your Fitbit on. Just press and hold that button until you see the language here, languages. Next thing is go to your phone. doesn't matter if you have an Android phone or an iPhone. I'm using an iPhone here. What you want to do is go to the Play Store or the Google Play Store. If you have an Android phone, just go to the App Store. And then you just want to search for Fitbit. And the Fitbit app looks like this right here. So download that, install it. After you installed it, installed it and signed up and whatnot, then go ahead and reopen your Fitbit app. And then once this opens up here, so when you open it up, the top left hand side is your avatar photo right there. Tap on that right there. And then we're going to go ahead and set up a device down here. Okay, I already have my Fitbit Charge 5 connected, but anyway, we're going to set up a set up a device down here. Let's go ahead and tap on that right there. We're going to look for Versa 4. There it is right here. Let me tap on that. Okay, and this is just for me. It says switching. There's a Fitbit Charge 5 connected to your account already, which is this right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch to Versa right there. Go ahead and read through this privacy and then tap on accept if you accept. Now it says let it charge. So grab your charging cable and Now I'm going to go ahead and connect that, make sure it connects on properly and it vibrates there. So it's charging now, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. Versa 4 found, this is vibrated, asking for a four digit, which is right here on my watch. So I'm going to type that in, 1485, connecting to Fitbit, it says right there. And it says connect it right there and I get a uh, Bluetooth pairing request. I'm going to tap on pair. Allow Versa 4, Versa 4 to receive your iPhone notifications. That's up to you. You can don't allow or allow. I'm going to go with allow here. Fitbit protection plan. Go ahead and read through that. If you want to purchase it, go ahead. Or you can go not now and do it later. But I'm not even interested. I don't need that right there. Update to your Versa 4. This new software update is required. It may take up to 20 minutes to install. Okay, so I'm going to tap on update right there. And this is vibrated. It says updating here and it says downloading right here. So let's be patient now. Now we can see it says downloading at 9% and I get a progress bar on the watch and it says downloading as well. Downloading is done. Now it's starting to install. You also get a progress bar on the Fitbit here. I think we're just about done with the uh, installing. If the uh, Fitbit goes black here, just press the button to turn the screen back on. Now note that it says down here, you can still use your phone during uh, setup, but just keep the uh, Versa close to your phone. Versa 4 is updated. And we can see we get a time right there. So I'm gonna go down here and tap on continue. Voice privacy, go ahead and read through that. You can learn more here. Once you've done that, tap on got it. Now here's Amazon Alexa, talk to Alexa, hear response. So go ahead and read through this right here. And if you wanna go ahead and set it up, tap down here. Most of you guys wanna go ahead and set this up. For me, I'm not interested in it, okay? But again, most of you guys will want the Alexa, but I'm gonna put not now. Here's a quick little tutorial. Uh, tutorial. You can do this on your, yourself, but uh, swipe down for a common watch sweating, setting. So you would swipe down, swipe up for notifications. Swipe left or right to get the info you need at a glance. Swipe left or right. Press the side button to see your app. Side button is right there. For voice assistant, press and hold the side button. Now we're gonna go ahead and it says try it on. So let me go ahead and unplug that. Let's go ahead and put that on. And redo that. Make sure the watch is on. Tap on next. Wear and care tips, read through that, next. You're all set. Now you can go down here and tap on learn about Versa 4, okay? But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on done right there. Fitbit's offering a six month Fitbit premium membership. You can go ahead and start that now, or you can always do it later, okay? Let me go ahead and just X that out. And I get a message here, location access and Bluetooth sharing. Set allow access to always, tr always to track your exercise with a GPS. Turn on Bluetooth sharing to start a GPS exercise from your tracker. Okay, so I'm gonna go no thanks for now, but I'll do that like later, but we're all set up now. So now you can see the Versa 4 and it will sync today. I can tap on that. And you have um, 
some other setting options on here as well notifications what risk is on goals whatnot you can also sync right there as well and I can also tap on today right there and I'll slide it down you can sync this way as this way as well so sync into your Versa 4 okay and then I can scroll down and I can see how many steps I did today it knows how many steps because I had um, it basically took the information from my um, my Fitbit Charge 5 so it knows how many steps I had since this morning and whatnot how many hours I slept today and so on so there we go we are up and running And there you go. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right, good luck, guys.